Hey everyone, this is Pixcalibur123, and uh, going on to the next quest on my queue list. Uh, so this one, I'm going to be doing, uh, I think this is one that uh, TK actually recorded uh, quite some time ago, and uh, I don't think I ever saw this quest beforehand because it's actually not on the uh, the Pure ZC database. I think you actually have to go to the um, Zelda Classic website to find this quest. Uh, Conquest of Sarpedia uh, by Alpha Dog, who I'm very familiar with because of the his official third quest, which is uh, <laughs> yeah rather difficult. Um, I think Sarpedia was supposed to be, I guess, the unofficial. It's like an unofficial third quest or something. And then that just got kind of moved aside. And, you know, again, you have the official third quest that's in the default program, uh, which I've already done. And, again, it's, that's actually fairly difficult. Um, this one is an interesting quest. It's easier in... Harder in some ways, so we'll go through that. Okay, so I don't even know where a lot of these names come from, so just probably half of these I can't even pronounce. Anyway. And you're given a, a potion. Which, I'm just going to leave there, uh, because, you know, when you get the letter later on, uh, you can't use that yet until you use your, your potions. Again, I think this was supposed to be a... the uh, it's like an unofficial third quest. So it's kind of interesting to see what the original... I don't, actually, I don't think the original was ever completed. Uh, this ended up kind of... Finishing up uh, what that left behind. Okay, uh, you're gonna notice. I think the whole tile set is uh, Zelda 2. It's kind of interesting. And a nice, convenient fairy fountain because in this quest, this plays like the traditional uh, Zelda quest in that you'll start with three hearts. Uh, on this screen, you can actually push one of the tombstones. And there are pieces of heart in this quest, and you're pretty much going to have to find all of them if you want to make your life a lot easier. Pretty much overpriced items, and uh, yeah, that magic shield is going to take a while to get. It's actually interesting he sells extra keys, so you really can't get perma-stuck by, you know, locked doors because you can always buy extra keys if you need it. And Lanowar Keep, uh, that's level 1. Again, I'm just gonna say level 1, level 2. I mean, I'm not gonna be able to pronounce half these names. Okay, into the... Grasslands, and again, uh, the names come from. Uh, even the life bars are in uh, Zelda 2 uh, graphics. Now, this game, this quest is more difficult than the kind of official dark quest because it puts all the custom enemies in here you'll see later on. Uh, but there is one big thing that this quest does have that makes your... that's gonna make the quest a lot easier. A lot more fair. Because you see some of the levels get pretty rough later on. And you'll see me spamming this the whole quest. Well, at least stuff is fairly easy late, you know, the label here. 
you know, something suspicious there. Uh, really can't do much at this point. Into the, uh, what's it called? Duvian Highlands. Uh, I'm just gonna call it mountains. Like the local mountains. Quest. Uh, eight jars to find. And some of them can be really well hidden. And I try to get some money as well, because I actually do need a fair amount of cash for that magic shield. Get your standard four direction moving because again you gotta treat this like the like the original Zelda quest. Uh, most modern quests will give you can give you eight direction movement, but nope, this goes under a the kind of you could say official quest. Okay, level one. Yeah, we got Gorillas here. So you're seeing what I'm doing right here, you're seeing what the, the big plus that this quest has versus the official third quest, because that quest you cannot attack from the doorway. Uh, this quest you can, and, and you might want to be spamming that as much as possible. Uh, because you really can't use the F6 continue trick, because that will start you with three hearts. Or, you know, whatever, three bars, or... Whatever you want to call it, just say hearts. Yeah, I'm full on bombs, so just leave that there. Again, pretty much all Zelda 2 sprites here. Basically, your simple ropes here. I'll take all the money I can get. And yes, mind you, the clocks are only five seconds. Basic bats here. In this room, we already have Aquamentis in this room. <laughs> As long as I have sword beams, I might as well just use that. Yeah, yeah Aquamensis is usually the boss of level 1, just now demoted to a early sub-boss. We have, uh, bots. Locks and keys are one to one until you get to a certain point. Then it, it'll become obvious why it's not one to one. Yeah, it would be nice to have a boomerang. I guess this is kind of running like the second quest. You find Blue Maria's in the second quest. And just spam the half tile positioning. It's actually pretty generous with it because uh, if you stand vertical, I think most projectiles will miss except for like arrows and maybe Octorox rocks and stuff. Get that heart there. Yeah, yeah, these are your P hats. I mean, these guys were annoying enough in there as their original forms. I mean, you had to, you know, only can hit them with their eyes open. Man, 
don't think there's any simple way to do this. I mean, at least some other quests give you options to... Either you can hit them when they're moving. I think some quests actually do that. Or you can at least hit them with bombs or something like that. Save yourself some time. Yeah, you really got basically fires in this level. Nah, I'm not gonna care about the bombs there. And they're fairly complicated level one. That's kind of a subtle hint to find level 2. Not the most obvious, but it's not too difficult to find. I'm not giving you lots of bombs for a reason. I mean, look at this, we got give those. Oh boy. They're nerfed or anything. Now you really do want to push every block in every room, just so that you don't miss some of these passages. I think every level is going to have a heart piece, and again, you do want to find everything. Three bombs there. Start spamming those things. It'll make the backtracking a little easier because now I've only got one enemy to deal with. quest, but the candle does, so it's, again, similar to the original Zelda. Assuming that's correct. And a lot of people actually don't like the candle. The candle hurts you, but actually, that's a good thing. Let's see if I can put that to some use later on. Yeah, I think the candle lets you use magic, which is why you're given that jar. bombs for a reason. Now, if you don't have sword beams uh, when you face these guys, you actually want to stand vertical, because I think the, their boomerangs will miss you on both sides. Uh, it's going to be your safest bet in that case. Get our own boomerang.
now I'm gonna do a little something odd here. I'm not, not gonna finish this level because mainly what the boss is. Right now, it's pretty much gonna be a game of luck. <laughs> if I happen to get... And you, and you, you see why you're given so many bombs. Yeah, you can kind of guess what you're gonna fight. here when I'm a little better prepared. And actually, that extra key, I can... You know, get some mileage out of that. You know, I've done this in other quests. And just a little tiny flaw with this approach. This has kind of a big weak point as well, so it's not without risk. And unfortunately, it's the next level that's gonna show that. I saw that magic shield was 200 rupees. So I might go in and out a couple times and see if I can grind up some money from these uh, basically ropes. Similar to the traditional Zelda, the boomerang goes through multiple objects. The more current quest will have you have it go through one item at a time. Room, the wall masters. Well, at least I got a little bit of money out of it. I don't think I need that much more money because there's luckily a lot of money secrets. Sometimes you get lucky and you get a whole bunch of money, and other times you get just scraps of it. Okay. Now, the good thing is you don't have to go all the way around. You can actually burn one of these bushes. It's one of a very convenient shortcut. So, actually, just to save some grinding time, I'm gonna pick this guy up. 100 rupees already. I don't think you need to see 10 minutes of grinding for money. Later on, it's not as big an issue. This one, I think, is a door pair charge, so just leave that alone.
And look at the list of Alien Knight Beach. Oh my goodness, is that serious? I can barely pronounce some of these names. So I'm just gonna refer to it as either beach or coast. So let's make it simple. Magic jar. Uh, you probably get around one per level on average. Uh, not always the case. Uh, I think that's just some more free money. Uh, so we can pick that up later. Yeah, money gets a little bit tight at the beginning of a quest. It gets a little more lenient later on. Uh, so here's where you can buy your blue ring, but if you look at the price, yeah. We can't afford that, and not for a while. Outside our wallet space, we can carry 255 right now. Heart piece right there, and I am missing a heart piece because I that should have been four right there. I think I know where I'm missing one. Now, I didn't actually go up the center of this mountain, I think there's something right here. Container helps, it doesn't really give me the, the actual leeway I need for level 2. You'll see why. I knew something wasn't right, I was like, wait a minute, that's my fourth heart piece. That should be my fourth heart piece, but why? I have three. And the enemy colors kind of go up in red is the weakest, and you got blue, and the purple one, I think, is the strongest color of, for that enemy. It'll become more obvious with later enemies. Might as well just go buy a magic shield. Kinda wish it was a little cheaper. I mean, 200 rupees, I mean, that's a big risk if you lose it. Alright, so we made some decent progress. Again, level 1, I'm gonna finish. Uh, at a later point, come back when I have some better equipment, and you know I can see how I can how much mileage I'll get with that one key. Uh, so the next part, we'll probably move into level two. Uh, I think I can take that out in one go. All right, see you guys later.